you are welcome to today's uh, TD class. In this video, we'll be drawing an ellipse using concentric method. And the question before us is draw an ellipse using concentric circle method with a major axis of 100 millimeter and with a minor axis of 60 millimeter long. This 100 millimeter here is a diameter of the major axis. Why this 60 millimeter here is the diameter of the minor axis? So I will draw two circles, one with a diameter of 100 millimeter and the other with a diameter of 60 millimeter. And if you look at my ruler here, my ruler is calibrated in centimeter. So I will need to convert this millimeter to centimeter, convert this millimeter to, to centimeter. If I convert 100 millimeter to centimeter, I will divide by 10. And that give me what 10 centimeter so i will draw a circle with what 10 centimeter as the diameter but if i if i'm to draw a circle of 10 centimeter as the diameter what will that be the radius you know radius is like is half of diameter right radius is half of diameter that is diameter over two so if the diameter is 10 centimeter now so 10 divided by 2 will be what will be 5. so i will measure 5 here I will measure five. Then I will locate a point here. Let me pick, let me locate a point. I will draw this. You make it a thin line first, thin line. Okay. Now, if you measure this now, you see that the diameter is what is ten. You can see that the diameter is ten, which is for this. So next one is to draw using a a sixty. I was it called. A, a circle of 60 millimeter diameter. As I've said, if you convert this 60 millimeter to centimeter, that would be what? Six centimeter, which is this, as diameter now. But what what about, um, what, what would be the radius? It would be six divided by two, that would be three. So I will bring my compass, I will put it here, okay? You can see now, so the radius is, is is three centimeter using the same point i will draw another circle with a radius of three centimeter okay now next thing is what is to divide this circle into 12 equal parts we divide this circle into 12 equal parts the first thing is we need to draw a a the diameter of the circle first. Let's draw the diameter of the, of the circle. Okay. This is the diameter of the circle. Now, um, I will divide this circle, as I've said, into 12 equal parts. So, for me to divide this circle into 12 equal parts, you know, the total angle, in it, let's use the angle to divide it. Make use of the angle here to divide it. The total angle in a circle is what? It's 360 degree. So if I divide 360 degree by 12, what would that give me? Um, that would be 30 degree. Okay? So I will divide it into 12 equal parts. Each angle will be 30, 30 degree. Okay? So I will make use of my protector here. I will do it in such a way that this point will be pointed towards there. And this line, this line, be pointed towards, I mean, parallel to this, and this line too, parallel to this. So let's do it. So, wow, that is good. So I'll be tracing 30, 30 degree. From zero to here is 30. Here will be another, plus under 30 will be 60. Plus under 30 will be 90 here. It was under 30, that is 120 here. Plus under 30, that is what? That is 150 here, okay? So I will now trace each of those points to this point here and to the other side. So I will have um, from here I will have okay. So let's do for this. Let's do for this. Is it? 
Let's do for this. And the last one, which is this. Choose it. Choose it here. Okay. Now let's name this. Let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I've done I've done for this. The major as is now. Let's do for this minor as is. Let's name it two. Here will be one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Now, I will leave this first. I will leave this one. I will make a para a, a a vertical line here for this two and twelve, this three and eleven. So, let's draw a line like this. We'll now come to this 3 and 11 again, making a vertical line here. So I will come, I will leave this one because if I still draw the line, it will still be part of this. So I will come to 5 and 9 here. I will come to 5 and 9. I will make line I will make for six and eight here yeah? so I will leave this then to join this line to join this line I will start from here for points 9 and 11. I will draw another line. Yeah. Now, you will see that this line does not um, join with this line, right? So let me draw this one down a little so that it can join. You can see where they join it. You can see. Then I've done for this and this. I've done for point 11 and now. Next one is point 12 and 8 here. Yeah. Point 12 and 8. So I will make a line to touch this. Another line to touch this. So next one is, I don't need to do this because if I do it, it will still be part of this line. So let me jump to the next one. I will now do for 6 and 2 here. 6 and 2. I will draw a line here to touch this one. Draw another line here to touch that one. If I draw a line here, you can see. You can see. So take note of this point. Take note of this point. So I've done for that. Uh, the next one is to do for 5 and 3 here. 5 and 3. Make sure that you are careful with it. Okay? And also for this. Now I've done for this too. So this is the only one here. I have to leave it to, to have its own point here. This one will have its own point here. So next thing to do is to use my fetch curve. Fetch curve to join those points together. All these points where they met. Those points. Use your fetch curve. To join them together and so here we have them we have let's draw it okay but you make this stick you make it bold make it bold Now it's to join this one. Nice for that. Let's come here. 
Let's join this together. Let me do for this here first. Let's come here. Make it good. Then I'll now join this and this together. Passing through this point. Join this to this point first. So I will not join each here together. Okay. Now I will not join this part together. See, is the last one. All right. Wow. Well, so um, now we are done with it. Uh, you can stay tuned for more tutorials. Do it to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you.